Okay, so checking in, it's been six hours. Checking in on place, six hours since my last update. Um, I haven't had time to clean off the counter just because I'm stuffing my face with Burger King. I'm doing the minimum, the bare minimum to survive here. I'm in my state of debauchery. Like uh, John Lennon went to New York. He spent the year in New York. When was it? Like 1976, whatever. When they when they went to New York, I'm not sure when they moved. With Yoko Ono. Um, who else did the state of debauchery of? After SNL, what's his face? We had John Belushi and uh, Chris Farley. They both did eight balls, killed himself after work. So you gotta be careful the state of debauchery. My state of debauchery is just ga gaming. Um, so I tried a little bit of reckless gambling. I don't like to do that. Bought the Coinbase roadmap late. Don't like to do that. Was up 10k. Didn't take profits. I was pissed. I didn't make 30k. No, I think I'm break even. I didn't even check the price. There's a state of the debauchery where you don't even check the price. You buy, you're up, and then you stop checking the price. It's almost irrelevant. You're going through a state of malaise where there's no need to check the price, right? So that's what I'm going through right now. Um, like, what's the point? So. The goal is to profit, right? It's the only point of crypto is to make money. But my goal is to stay alive, to not lose all my money in crypto. So unfortunately, it doesn't work out. Especially I'm mortgaging these pudgies day in and day out to do these plays. So I got to be very careful not to lose all my pudgies because they're my, they're no longer my retirement. I only have uh, five out of 10 on mortgage pudgies. So basically, no, but one's paid off. I still have the ETH. So probably three and a half. Um, are mortgaged, but the f five, if I don't check in daily on that, I have the potential to lose. So I got to be super careful on this. I should check in tonight. But anyway, on my blur loans, because they if they don't refinance the loan, then they can just take it. It's like if the pudgy floor crashes, um, people are more like so. I I had my loans around ten ETH on the pudgies. Very briefly, I'll update you. And, um, well, originally I took out the max, like 90%, where the interest wasn't crazy. It wasn't like 2.74%. It was like 0.06%. And then I got it down to 0% when I took it down to like 70%, when the floor went up from uh, like 12 ETH all, or 11 ETH all the way to, to 19 ETH or 18 ETH. Um, I was able to reduce that actually get more ETH, which I swiftly lost. I sent 14 ETH, 10 ETH to Bybit, 4 ETH to Gate, plus another 50K to Bybit over this last week to sustain the sub 40K uh, chop, which we're doing. So basically, like now, is it 50-50 we go down or up? Ye maybe. But is it possible we mean revert to 44K? Yeah. The daily super trend has broken, right, at, what was it, 40.3K? I don't know what it was, but it, it broke two or three days ago. I think on Monday it broke. Uh, actually, Monday afternoon until Tuesday. Uh, it's hard because they count UTC time, so it's the afternoon in the, the U.S. So Monday afternoon in the U.S., Tuesday, everywhere else, um, outside the Western Hemisphere. I'm sorry for the South America, Central America, Canada, Mexico, which is a part of North America. People always get like North American confused. It's always three countries. They try to add all these countries. It's three countries. Um, North America, South America, North America is United States, Canada, and Mexico. Maybe they added more. I don't know. I don't think so. People always are like, do they add more countries? Oh, I don't fucking know if they added more countries. So then, um, then we have the continent of Australia. Here we go. It used to just be Australia, so you had Australia, and then you're like, wait, there was another country, Tanzania, part of the continent, but actually, Tanzania is a, oh, sorry, Tanzania is in Africa, oh, I mixed that up, Taz, Tasmania, uh, I'm not sure of the aboriginal pronunciation of that, but uh, I think our good old fash friend, um, Runes, from Tree Capital, I think he was born in Tasmania, if I got my history a crypto lore, right? So, but he now lives in Sydney. 
Australia. I'm not sure how, if I was supposed to dox him. But anyway, he got a dox there. So, um, delete. Maybe I should delete that. Maybe I'm revealing too much. This could be a huge blunder in my part. But anyway, uh, I don't mean to dox someone's city. But Sydney is such a big city. What does it have? Like 8 million people or whatever. It should be okay. Um, what you call it? Why am I chipping, chipping, chipping? I, w I went to countries instead of the topic at hand. Okay. And so Australia continent. And then they said, wait, was it? it's no longer Australia. It's Oceania or Oceania. So Australia, New Zealand. Because what the, what the hell was New Zealand? So because um, it was there, like what, what was it part of? So you had all these Pacific Islands. And South Pacific Islands, like Fiji, uh, New Guinea, right? Um, or Papua New Guinea. So I got to look up where they are, New Guinea versus Papua New Guinea. Um, I think one is, and then there's Guinea. What the hell? Anyway, this topic isn't about geography. So what you, why, I don't even know why. Oh, I was talking about the time zone, so... You don't want me to do time zones? I don't do the time zones. So the daily super trend flipped 40.3k or whatever. I don't actually remember where the daily was. I'm, I'm not focused on BTC because I'm underwater in alts. If I wasn't in these positions, I would be able to tell you more about BTC. But now I'm a little for focused on alts. So I got back into SWE. I <laughs> bought it at 128. I had the stop limit buy the stupidest thing. Not the stupidest thing, but during a chop market, stop limit buys when you think you sell and then you're like, okay, if the price goes up by 1% or 2%, I'm buying back in. I did that five times on SWE. It hit all five times on Optimism, whatever. At least Optimism broke out today. But on SWE, I bought back in at 128. I said, no more stop losses. Just screw it. I, luckily, fortunately, I had a stop loss at 123 on that. That hit overnight when it dumped to 116. I got back in at 118. And then I sold at 117. And I said, okay, I'll buy back half at 118. Anyway, uh, let's check the prices. I did. So on the Coinbase roadmap listing, I was up like 25K from the bottom. And unfortunately, when I woke up, I was back down 20K. So still up 5K from the bottom. But, um, Actually, I was up 30K from the bottom and I didn't take profits. Am I dumb? That bounce yesterday or over the two days, I didn't take profits bouncing 30K because I was down 110K in a margin. I just had 80K more to go, but I just, it's hard. You get the bounce. You have two choices, right? Sell or hold, or you're not going to buy more when you're this far underwater. You're just trying to save to persevere there was a situation my first big underwater alt leverage was in january 2021 when i just sold bitcoin and was at dumped from like 39k to um 28.8k something like that and then it bounced but i just on the bounce to back to 30k or 32k i just sold and i was hedging short btc right around there so sometimes i'll just short btc if i don't want to close my alts but then you might have to go on a B bitcoin run so it was crazy anyway if i would have held my alts like chaz i sold the two cents i just said screw it 2.7 cents i'm out of there and it ran to 91 or 92 cents um that's just the biggest example i can think of a solana soul i said i, t I, t I actually sold in profit for like Five or ten percent. I bought it like two dollars, two or five. I sold it two twenty five. I'm like, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> and you had the meme, uh, uh, SBF. I'll buy all your soul under three dollars, right? <laughs> With uh, Coin Mamba, I think. So, uh, and then they did a an options bet or whatever, a binary bet, whatever. So, isn't that all bets under three or over three in in a year's time or whatever it was? So yeah, if we look at soul now, it hit. 128 or something um, earlier in January. So, um, what am I talking about? Yeah, being underwater in alts. So, <laughs> I don't want to take the 30K bounce since I still have 80K to make up. And then at the same time, if I made back all 110K of my drawdown, would I close? Probably not. This is the gambler in me, the gambler addiction, the state of debauchery, my, my uh, bachelor party, whatever. <laughs> you want to call it so um just my short vacation one week away from responsibilities 
and it's not a real vacation because I'm here, but I just don't want to be res a responsible adult right now. Um, you just have the problem, whatever. Some people drink, other people gamble, other people do drugs. Some people go out freaking driving like, I just want to go somewhere. And that, that's not a, uh, when you're in a bad state of mind, you don't even have to be on alcohol or drugs. Alcohol is a drug, obviously. Um, to, for it to be a bad idea, you could be tired. Ex exhaustion actually mimics the same state of alcohol when you're driving. Okay, so, wow, that took a while. What's the time? It's basically a vlog, a selfie vlog. I, I don't like to do the vlogs in a portrait mode because it's it basically you have to watch it on your phone and most people are on their computer trading, right? So this is this is meant to be a quick update and unfortunately this should have been uh, a landscape mode vlog. So let's get to the prices. This is what you want to see. Um, we last left you, I think Bitcoin was like 39.9K. So it hit 40.5K earlier. Um, I think very early morning, Thursday. So, or late, later, the time zones, I know half my viewers are not in the US or two thirds, whatever. So the time zones just screw, screw you up. So I, I say two, Thursday morning, I mean in the US. So that, that's just later if, if you're in other places of the world, other than America, which I don't want to round trip that boring geography lesson. So uh, to the task at hand, I was up 30k and then back down to freaking 10k, 10k out of 110k. So I didn't take the 30k. I should have. I almost what I want to do on that Coinbase roadmap map announcement. I wanted to sell all my margin, but I said I don't want to get liquidated. I don't want to close these out, and I should have just closed them out. Should have paid the the 1k slippage or whatever to close out 300k in longs. Um. And of course, um, there's this an alt layer I bought it at the top, like 34 cents, all the FUD, deleted Twitter, but it was just Elon Musk and X uh, not updating the, the older tweets. So they didn't tweet. So that does happen occasionally every every few weeks or it doesn't update the old tweets. So it looks like someone rugged and deleted all their old tweets. Because what do you do when you hide the evidence? Like Barry actually, Barry um, Silver actually deleted all his tweets, all his tweets shilling Zcash. Um, What's the second one? He was a big shill on, um, shoot, Zcash. Anyway, I made a tweet about it. So, yeah, so I went from recovering 30K at 100 to 10K so to only 10K, which wasn't good. And then I bounced back to 20K, and then I was down to 15K when I last checked. Would that be about six hours ago? I said, I think I said five hours. So here we go. Here's where we check the prices, and you get to see what the hell happened. Okay. So, I can tell you two things. Sold being down could mean that my alts like say are down. Alt layer, I'm just looking at the green 5,001%. It's not going to tell me anything. I did long 15K at 34 cents. It could go down to 29 cents, 25 cents. I could be down uh, 4K or so when I refresh this. Manta, Manta was actually up. It was a big gain. It was over three. I think it hit like 330 something. I don't remember where. Um, and unfortunately it's down today. The, the time rolled over. Okay. So Bitcoin just being positive is good as of 24 hours ago. Cause I remember it being over 40 K like 40.1 K, but it could be exactly 40.1 or 40.2. Okay. BNB. That was good. Remember how down it was. So we did have a tiny alt bounce. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, say sweet ENS, uh, say sweet ENS and optimism are my four big positions right now. And then, Alt layer is the new one. Oh, 31. Okay. So, yeah, exactly. 41, 40.1 alt layer. Uh, Soul. That's actually up. Why does it say? Maybe it was 89 earlier. I don't think it hit 90. Let's see. Yeah, 89. Okay. So, it's it's good. Let me just check the chart. Oh, that might have been, that might have took out all my stops. That wick down. Right. Shoot. All my stops. I didn't have any stops. Holy crap. Yes. None of my stops got taken out because I got frustrated and didn't set any. So I don't have to worry about that now. That five scalping thing, stop limit buys I did yesterday. I don't have to worry. Okay. Let's just get to the the tasks. Um, the task at hand. It's crazy how much. 
T. Who has high T? Let's go to the very bottom just to check if any of my coins are here. Ooh, Zem. There wasn't any FUD. See, Manta's down. What was the high? 330 something. Let me check. Yeah, 333. Okay. That would be crazy if Manta went to five. Sorry. Sorry about that. So how do I do this? The biggest gainers. I just, I'm just i not used to this. I just started doing it on my phone. Malty, remember? What did it hit? Like $4 the other day? Something crazy? 380 Someone pooped? Okay, I'll come in and uh, give me two minutes. Um, oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Um, shoot. Okay. So Manti, Malty, uh, 430 Lisk, the risk of Lisk. Risk, a Lisk actually got a perp listing and it wicked to 239 last night. That was a, this was a, a friend tech only. I don't know why I still support friend tech. People bought it and it was a big thing, but whatever. Sweet. $1.18, basically where I left it. 